tension grows in the Tokyo metropolis, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Aidano has now admitted that a partial meltdown has taken place at one of the Fukushima Daiichi reactors. And this is a cause of the relatively high levels of radiation escaping from the plant. Critics have been pouncing on the sluggish communications from the government. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency admitted that damage had been done to the reactor pressure vessel only because workers had been injured by radiation in the course of their operations. Meanwhile, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, called TEPCO for short, which operates the Fukushima Daiichi plant, is apologizing to the public for releasing information on high radioactivity counts that they now say was inaccurate. The public is confused and alarmed. This young man told us of his concern that more radiation might come to Tokyo. One of the main concerns has been over the contamination of water supplies. Even now, it's quite difficult to find bottled water in many of the stores. These images, released by the Japanese Ministry of Defense, show government efforts to combat further meltdowns at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, and the heroic efforts of the people on the scene have been widely appreciated. But some point to serious problems in the government's communications um, regime. I don't think proper attention has been given by any government, not only by the Japanese government, to the transmission of information um, to the public about what these radiation hazards mean. Um, governments and, and uh, agencies of governments release these figures like becquerels per liter of seawater or um, cesium levels in spinach. And um, there is no effort made to translate this into something that the public can can appreciate and comprehend and modify their behavior. Government spokesmen have repeatedly stated that they will be transparent and provide the public with accurate information. While the true level of threat to the Japanese public and the global public remains a contentious issue of debate, one point that all analysts agree upon is that the Japanese nuclear crisis is weeks, perhaps months, away from a real resolution. Michael Penn, Press TV, Tokyo.